Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Ramor Infested Kingdom. <clears throat> this is a we're gonna we're gonna start a new game. Suffering. We're all suffering. Um this is a tactics game. I don't really know if it's more complicated than that. It's not a roguelike, because if you lose, you just lose, and then you have to restart the mission, and there's not really any procedural generation, there's no randomness involved. Um, I'm gonna skip the story. I'm afraid because uh, there's not much to it at least not right now world is filled with monsters that's really all you need to know um, there's a little bit of in world building which I do like and character building which I also do like um, but I will also be skipping that just so you know all right cool glad glad we're on the same page here um, this it, this game feels like it, it's almost a, a lot of different genres and then um, kind of stops short of all of them to do something different, which I appreciate. It's really just a tactics RPG. And I say just a tactics RPG, but it's actually quite a good tactics RPG. If you can't tell, I've this is not a blind play because I did do the tutorial and the tutorial bled into the story and the story bled into, um, you know, playing it for a good hour last night. I'm again going to be skipping this, but we're looking for weapons and supplies. I hope they don't... Yeah, okay, they're going to re-tutorialize, unfortunately, but I'm going to be skipping that. We're, mi we're moving around um, with the right-click uh, button, right mouse button. That's all you really need to know. Um, we've got two different turn currencies. Turn currencies in, in the sense that, like, we have... Um, a currency for attacking and we have a currency for uh, moving around you can call them currencies I guess uh, or, or points um, points makes more sense I suppose but anyway um, the, we have stealth these creatures are looking you can see which, which way they're looking with the arrow below them so they're looking down and to the left and so we can we can creep by them if they see us the monsters get kind of a free turn where they get to uh, they get to come at you for free, basically. They they do a big old scream and then they rush you. Um, and that's bad, obviously. We don't want to be seen by monsters. Uh, there is combat in this game. You don't necessarily want to avoid every monster. Sometimes you can't avoid every monster. Sometimes you can't avoid any monsters. So there is quite a lot of combat in here. Don't 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 worry. This is not a stealth tactics game. But I know uh, sometimes you do want to sneak by and avoid some combat so we've got we found a, a lad here and they are a lad they are they're a decent lad they're a spear lad and uh, we found some weapons which is what we wanted and we've got a sword and board literally a sword and board cool the weapons are represented on our character, which is nice. We can hold control to see some interactables on the screen. That's kind of included in this uh, tutorial. So we've got a we've got a nasty. The creatures are still here. Looks like we can't get around. We'll have to fight our way through. Prepare yourself. So and then they're going to tell me that weapons consume a certain amount. So if you highlight them, you'll see. This is how, that's how far out they can see, right? So if I go here, it'll tell me I'm going to be chased. I don't want to be chased. That would be bad. If we go here, walk around, we should be able to get a free hit off. Now, I've already kind of erred here, unfortunately, but we're, I'm going to, I'm going to fix that. I'm going to swap places. Um, something I appreciate about this game is it's not doing the XCOM thing where you have like a bunch of random characters maybe that's the plan down the line and this is what I mean by it like it avoids different genres and does its own kind of thing because like this is the kind of game I could absolutely see doing like the darkest dungeon or XCOM thing where you get a new hero and then you can equip them how you like and set them up how you like it hasn't really been doing that from what I can tell you have three main characters we'll see the third one pretty soon and they all have their own little way methods of attacking so we're gonna see the first thing is that this lad down here with the spear um, at least once per turn will do a free attack on a unit that has been recently attacked by an ally I'm gonna turn the game down a little bit more 
so um, that's a useful thing that you want to take advantage of. You want to take advantage of everything you have because, you know, things things get tough. Now, the second thing, so we, we've got our friend William here, Sword and Board. He's also got a method of, of play. Um, so first of all, we're going to use Shoulder Bash to shove this guy into the wall. Shove! And he took some collision damage. That's just to get some, do some extra damage. And then we're going to put our shield defense up. The reason we're putting our shield defense up, so our, our friend here, William, at least for a little while, um, you know, while we want, basically, is uh, he he is uh, kind of the tank of our squad. And whenever he gets attacked, he'll actually throw out a free attack. So you want to take advantage of these things. You want to get to know these passives because they're very, very useful. Now, our friend here, um, uh, Edwin, Edwin, he's he's got reach. He has a little lance and he has reach and the reach is quite useful. We don't want to use the, re the re uh, you know, the reach right now. We just want to attack this guy normally. He's a uh, when you attack a creature, they'll kind of like re divert their attention. So you can see he's going to attack poor poor Lance here. So um, debatable whether or not I should have just like left him alone to attack William since William is the uh, the tank and he's actually got some extra um, armor because of his shield stance. But uh, we'll just we'll just play it how it lays. So he did take some armor damage, but he did get the attack off and killed the uh, the goon. All right, so now if I attack this guy with, um, was it William? Then uh, Edwin should get a free attack because it's a new turn. And he did, and he got a critical, and that was very good. So now we can move on. We did take some damage. You really, really want to avoid taking damage. It is very possible to avoid taking damage basically in every combat. So if I'm taking damage, then um, I'm doing something wrong. Um, so this is our third character, Durmuid. 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 Listen. If you, if you, if he's got a, a non, if his name isn't Bob, I'm gonna struggle. Okay. So, um, the, William and Edwin here have a conversation. They, uh, William doesn't really care that this guy is dying. Edwin is different. He's he's got a kind heart, maybe. So he's gonna go and and uh, help him with some bandages. And so, uh, Dermawid is going to join our team. But, uh-oh. I actually thought this was, like, a scripted, like, cutscene. And it was like, okay, and then we're going to, like, fade to black. No, 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 this is part of the tutorial. So, this is actually here to teach us Dermawid's, um, like, best asset. He is a kind of a dps i would say he's a dps he's got this attack which lets him do three across Whatcha? and he's got a passive i'm not sure oh it's after kills um he's got a couple of things actually he's got a passive that whenever he makes a kill he recovers some tp that's our movement um points and he's also got got a passive that where he can convert his tp basically into um weapon points so the idea here is that you can make kills, recover your TP, then convert it into more attacks, get more kills. And um, if we don't have enough to convert, we can always use a shoulder bash. Shoulder bashes are moves. They, they use your move uh, points to do an extra attack. And we can actually get some extra <laughs> recovery points there. I didn't expect that. Now, of course, I, I have messed up again here because our, our Edwin was not in a range of being able to attack anyone. So uh, I, I make note of these things for you when you play, but I should be doing the things a lot smarter. So what we're going to do instead is I'm going to move William over here. No, oh, no, we're not. <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, I can I can do this. We're gonna sw let's swift save. So now he's he's over here, and now he's gonna do. Whatcha? And e Edwin, what was that? Oh, is it not on? It's not. It's off cooldown. Why did I think that he could do it again? I guess he already did it, and I and he was just like too quick for me. He was way too quick for me, you know. 
didn't mean to do that attack. I actually meant to do the other one because it does more damage. Making all kinds of mistakes right now. So we can do another swift save. Because I want to um, try and kill one of these guys. This guy probably. And so there is a one uh, left. Fortunately, they are attacking William. I say fortunately because if they were attacking Dermawid, he might actually die. So uh, William takes more damage, but William gets to do his passive as well. Everyone gets gets to do their passive. You fight well for an outsider. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna skip this. There's a quite a bit of demo here, and I do want to show off some of the more um, deep mechanics. Did not expect kindness from your people. So here's our town. I say it's a town, it's more like a shack within a town. Um, and this is Ayela. Um, Ayela is our cook or chef, whatever you want to call her. Um, and she's going to do something very valuable for us. She's going to um, cook food. Hold on. We want we don't want that in there. What we want to do is we have uh, we can we have a bunch of recipes here. You don't have to pay too closely attention to um, what you can cook or the, the ingredients because at least um, my experience so far has been the, the, the ingredients are kind of hard-coded. I don't know if that'll be something that changes later. Um, but yeah, you, you just kind of get what you get, and you don't have to worry about the uh, recipes. But we're going to throw in some barley bread and an apple, and you're going to see the effects of that. That's going to heal 3 HP, which is good. Uh, Dermawood could definitely use some extra HP. Increase recovery TP by 2. Um, this is the thing, too. Like You don't necessarily get all your movement points back every turn, so having bonuses like that is very helpful. So they ate some food and you can see they're actually still hungry and that's the kind of world that we're going for here it's it's very much a you're always hungry um because there's not really a lot of food and you're always afraid and you're always you know everything kind of sucks we got to talk to jorgen i don't know if that's how you say his name but i'm, I'm gonna say his name like that jorgen or jorn yorn let's say yorn yorn's not bad uh, Yorn doesn't have anything he can do yet, but he will soon. He's very valuable. Uh, I'll just go ahead and spoil it now. Uh, Yorn is able to uh, repair your equipment because, yes, you have weapon durability in this game. I know it's the most controversial mechanic of all time, um, but I actually think it works quite well in this game. And actually repairing, it doesn't feel super punishing. So now we're going to head off to a town to get some more food. And um, you're going to get used to this screen. This screen, uh, like I have to assume eventually we're going to, like maybe when the full game comes out, we'll have more people that we can send into town. They haven't fully recovered, so that, like, that's something we have to be worried about. Um, we can choose what kind of tools we want. Tools are kind of nice because they recover um, every, like when we come back to town. So like bandages are something that we... We don't have to necessarily replenish those. We can. We can find them in town, but I'm pretty sure that just means that we have more of them, like, in that session. Um, I do appreciate this. This is a really nice quality of life. I think if it didn't have this, then the game would be a lot more frustrating or punishing. But basically, like, whenever our character spots a monster, they stop immediately. We don't have to worry about, you know, how we're going to play things now this guy we can see his range of oh ho, ho, ho. yeah i forgot that room's kind of a mess so why don't we go ahead and close that door i'm not sure if the monsters can open doors and what we'll do is we're gonna move everyone a little bit close and then we're gonna end our player turn so they're gonna get to do some stuff they the monsters aren't necessarily clever they're not really like you know they're not doing anything too clever, right? So um, we can be pretty sure that them moving around isn't going to actually amount to much. 
And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and proc this off. Now we've blocked the door, which is nice. They only get to move; they don't get to uh, attack, which is nice. But they what they've done is they've caught my friend. And when when your character is caught, then they can't move, which is the bummer, the bummer, dude. So um, you know we're just gonna. Well, first of all, we're gonna do a shoulder bash. Shoulder bash is good in this instance because it's actually gonna hurt both of them. And uh, Edwin's gonna get an extra attack, which is good. I like to get um, the shoulder bashes done first sometimes because it might um, it might mean that we, we can kind of gauge what kind of attack we should do after that. So I think we can just do a, a bloody slash because we're not gonna actually, unless we critical, we won't kill them. They will bleed, but I don't know if, I don't think bleed is going to kill them. So let's do a shoulder bash and kill them with the shoulder bash. Did that? That didn't kill them with the shoulder bash? They should have died. They should have died though. All right, well, whatever. We'll kill them with the last attack. Uh, and then now they're not caught anymore, so we can move them out of there. We'll move Dermoid in there. And he's got some really nice attacks. Three to eight damage. Add six damage on critical. If not within target site, add 50% critical rate. Oh, I didn't even actually, I didn't actually realize that. Ambush chop. So um, Dermoid can actually do a stealth kill. That's, um, I didn't know about that. But he's got a really good attack and he did crit with it. So he's just going to like absolutely murder. Now uh, we're out of combat. He's gonna go. We're gonna we we use control to highlight containers. We're gonna open up those containers. We got some iron ingots. That's good. We want those for our weapons. And um, we can start to prepare for uh, this door. So I'm gonna end our turn. I'm actually totally okay with the fact that they we have a nice little kill box here. Uh, well, he caught. Edwin, so now he, I, uh, they can move through each other, so actually they can still move through. Okay. Um, interesting. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Perfect. Um, this is really unfortunate, is he caught William. And I was hoping to use William to actually swap out Edwin, and then we could have, um, Dermawid here and do a triple kill. Why does Dermawood have no... Oh, did I not? I thought I ended my turn. How come he has no points? <laughs> I ended my turn, though. <laughs> well, that's really unfortunate. That might actually cost us quite a lot here. Well, um, we're just going to have to try our best. Wow, no one has any points, huh? Okay, well, I guess I ended my turn, but we got no points left. Or points back. Oh, okay. Um, Edwin got it critted. That sucks. Um, okay. This guy's got six health left. This is the worst formation, actually. Like, it, it actually just sucks. Okay. Um, that's good. Are we still caught? We're not caught. So, I'm wondering... If we move um, Edwin, let's let's move Edwin here for a moment. Then we're gonna do a simple attack here. Then he'll attack through. There we go, perfect. And then we can, yeah, okay. That 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 worked out really well. We'll do a second win so we get our attack back. Didn't quite kill him. Not that's not not ideal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap, do a swift save, and then try and kill him with um, William. Perfect. All right. Well, um, that did not. Oh God, there's one more. Actually, this is great. Let's um close that door for a second, end our turn, so we get our uh, our moves back. Then we'll have uh, Dermwood. I want to try that stealth kill. Yeah, perfect. So this is 50% critical rate when not in sight. 80% critical. Yeah, that's that's amazing. All right. So we've got 
We've got uh, nothing so far. There's There's got to be some stuff in here. We got some pickles. Heck yeah, bud. Pickles. More resources. Definitely want... Uh, you want all the resources. Alright. Let's end our turn. Can't... We don't know of any... Oh yeah, I remember. Are they gonna? They're gonna. There's there's some interesting twists here. No one survived. We're hearing some creepy crawlies. It's bad for business. Um, something that's like you really gotta kind of account for is like your, just kind of moving around the the map is also using movement points. So you do kind of want to end your turn in a good like in a good place or safe place so that you have some uh, a moment to catch your breath before you engage in any combat. Now this guy sucks. He just sucks. Um, this guy explodes. He's basically like a boomer. And um, he is going to make life very difficult for us because we can we can only really safely kill him at range. Let's end our turn, so everyone gets some points back. Where did the boomer go? Oh, there he is. Really not too sure how we're going to do this. The boomer is like inaccessible right now. We do need to get in there. We need to kill. I mean, do we need to kill? I wonder if we could just like walk by them. There is a crate there. So we could go in there, grab this. Chieftain died fighting off the creatures. At least he didn't abandon his people. A man of pride. Search the, the area. We may, uh, he may have had a key for the storage shed out back. Okay, so I didn't actually do it this way last time. I actually did uh, kill and, you know, I, I kill attacked them all. Now, the only problem here is that we're going to have to end our turn. Oh, right. And there's more over there. And um, that's a problem because this whole room is going to shuffle. And so our odds of getting out without being seen are not the same. Yes, yes. We got the key for the storage. Okay, they're actually better than they were in some ways. Oh, that worked out really well. I guess I, I don't have to have a Dur Durduin, Dur Durduin do everything. Um, so now here's here's some good stuff. Wait, what? That's not what I got last time. A dagger. I got a bow. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Right. Okay. Bow. I didn't, I don't remember the dagger. I might want to try the dagger. Um, but the dagger or the, the bow and arrow is extremely useful for the boomers. So we're going to swap. Um, and the nice thing is in this game, um, there's zero penalty for swapping your equipment like ever. Um, you can even do it in like in combat and uh, there's no penalty for that so that, that that is very helpful because it you know it really means you can um like assign one character to do multiple things at once the only thing i'd like to see maybe is if we could have like weapon sets for a character so i don't have to like manually swap their weapons um but it's fine we do have ammo we have to worry about so we're not going to just like throw start shooting everything um, now it'd be amazing if we could get another stealth kill before, you know, we fully engage. Uh-oh. feel like we got very lucky there. Hmm. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get, like, our ideal off here. 
I'm not sure what the the range is on the scream. Ugh. The fact that he moves there is really unideal for us. Because like, it, there's a bunch of guys in here. Are they also coming? Did they not hear that? Survey says no. Add four critical. Okay, so we're gonna um, have Durduin. How do I say his name? It's fine. We're gonna have him attack something. So we grazed them. I think that means we don't. We didn't do as much damage. We'll finish the job here. Um, and then bash this guy. And then, um, actually, yeah, we're, we're going to be better off sword and boarding for now. With William, I, I make William the, the bow guy. Maybe that's a mistake. And I'm going to swift save. I guess I can only swift save adjacently, not, um, diagonally. Or I guess uh, better uh, uh, orthogonally. Okay, so let's move there and we're gonna have him kill this guy, hopefully. There we go, perfect. There's more lads in there, so we're just gonna take a moment to breathe. Now, I'm pretty sure we could just like end this without combat. And that would be ideal. Nice. Yeah, actually, um, that f the first time I played this map, I, uh, I did every combat available. So the, I, I guess, um, you can go kind of stealth tactics with it, which is really cool. So we've got some dialogue. Um, again, I like the, the character building in this game, but I'm honestly just kind of like, I, I don't think that me reading the text is going to do much for you. Um, I think probably you're here from the mechanics. I should have done more of skipping throughout Steam Next Fest. Uh, but I do like the story so far. Jorgen, uh, Jorn Jorn is, is a pretty cool character. So he's going to let... So I wonder if um, not avoiding combat is going to do much for our dur durability. But we'll do... Um, we're going to go ahead and... Um, Repair some weapons. You might have noticed we can disassemble um, weapons, so ones we're not work using. So you can see we have seven wood and one, or uh, and twenty-three iron ingots, and um, it only takes one wood and one ingot to repair, basically fully repair a weapon, which is you know it's great like uh I, I weapon durability is a thing yes but um right now it doesn't feel super punishing what we do do want to do is we can actually upgrade our weaponry so we could like upgrade maximum axe damage plus one and actually even um oh we didn't we didn't get any glue how come we didn't get any glue we could do critical rate plus 10 percent. let's do that and actually that's um really good for uh Duridin, because like he's he's Mr. Crit guy, and the more crits he gets, the better. Let's see what we can do for um, the spear. We could do maximum spear pull arm damage plus one, maximum weapon durability. I also really like increasing that if I can. Um, I don't know if I actually did do that. I think I just repaired it last time. So let's just increase the damage. Why not? We can't do it to the sword, but we may be able to do it to the bow. No, we need a bowstring. We can't actually increase anything. But now what we can do is, um, it costs a bit of wood, unfortunately, but we can make some more arrows. Um, I didn't use the arrow last time. Ooh, we got really lucky. Uh, there's a very small chance you get more arrows. It's kind of a chance-based thing. Like, um, you know, if you get lucky, you get a lot more ammo but um i didn't use too many arrows but i am going to be using more arrows especially in the next combat i actually haven't done the next like i haven't fully finished the next combat 
because it was tricky and I was like, okay, you know, time for bed. I'll, I'll uh, pick this up tomorrow. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to eat. Everyone's going to get a little bit of recovery. And then we'll sleep. They get experience when they sleep. I think they may even level up. Yes. Oh, what? Edwin didn't level up? He did last time. What the heck? I wonder why not. Maybe he didn't do enough. But anyway, we're going to learn some talents. Um, increase next attack skill damage by a three on attack. I'm not sure how to use this retaliation. I don't know how to... I, like, I took back-to-back. -back. I like back-to-back -back because... Um, that's generally how I've been playing anyway. Um, our choices for Durden, or sorry, du Dermawid. Oh my god. Uh, how many different ways have I said this guy's name? Um, I don't like, I don't like this idea of like losing HP for weapon recovery, so I took finishing blows. It's a passive, it's basically like you have a chance of like automatically killing an enemy. So we're hearing um, some kind of bell that they're going to say it's from the monastery. Um, and they'll, they, it's, a, it's a cry for help. So we, you know, need to go and help them. We can take more tools. So we can take that dagger. We can take um, these this new tool that we've been given, which are hooks. We do need that ammo. And we need the bow. Just for some, like, tactical flexibility, you know? So, this place kind of sucks. A lot. Um, we'll, you'll see why soon enough. Let's get uh, Dermawid in there. Um, he actually can get a kill here. Oh, that, that boomer is a real problem. Oh, no. All right, give me one moment. All right, so we're, we're in a, a bit of a dilemma here. Um, there's a couple of different ways we can play this. I think the thing what we're going to do here... So we need to get Dermoid out of there. So we're going to go ahead and hook them out. So that's that's just going to grab them out of that um, debacle. Then we're going to switch to our bow and arrow. I should have a look at what this dagger is. We can throw a dagger, apparently. Add three damage on critical. Um, maybe we might want to use that if this bow doesn't do the trick. But we need to make sure that this boomer dies because i have this th these guys have killed my entire team before so that wasn't it um hmm. i have an idea it's stupid but it might work these boomers oh no these boomers, um, the nice thing about them is they die on contact damage. So like when you like a, a shove. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove this guy forward. And then, oh, I don't have enough moves. Oh. Okay. All right. Plan B. Uh, this sucks. I, I, I've messed this up completely. All right. I really need to take care of that boomer. Um, we can use a dagger on them, but I really don't think that's going to do uh, do enough. Yeah, it, it, unless we get a critical. We did get a critical. Amazing. I don't know why they're getting a free attack, a free move right now. Like, wh why did that happen? I'm not clear on that one. Um, so what I'm going to do, what I'd like to do... This guy actually can't see Dermawid right now, so we can get a free kill. Kill. Nice. 
Not sure why Dermawid... Uh, well, it's probably something I've I've uh, misplayed here. Let me see. Um, what can we do here? We can... I might be able to kill this guy here. No, we don't want to do that. We want to do uh, Pierce. Crit 15. I don't... It might kill him. It looks like it's going to kill him. No. We got unlucky. Um... I need to help our friend here. Unfortunately, if I move over there, there I'm not going to have access to these moves. So what I might do, uh, I don't like using all of our hooks at once, but it, like, I don't like the idea of Edwin taking two attacks right now. So we're going to hook that guy. Um, do we have anything else we can do? Doesn't look like it. Oh, nice. We got lucky there. Yeah, see, th that three damage hurts a lot. They don't have a lot of health. So what I'd like to do here is move Dermoid here, shove this guy up. Oh, that killed him. I was gonna try and do a triple kill and then this guy uh edwin would also get to attack but it's fine he gets he gets his passive anyway we get to kill those lads so um edwin is not looking super good right now yes william gets to um take an extra breather We have an opportunity to potentially kill this guy without even um, anyone. Oh, never mind. There's no space there. So we can't sneak around him, unfortunately. So here's. Oh, he can see there as well. My goodness. Okay. He might be far enough away from those other lads that. They can't hear him, so we're gonna just do like a shot. Oh, they they heard. It's fine. They're far enough away. They might not be able to make it to us. Yeah, TP exhaust. This is good. How how he was farther away? <laughs> how was it he made it? Okay. Oh, whatever. It's fine. Um, the good news is that Dermawid can uh, can move freely, so he can do an axe swing. Critical. Plus, uh, yeah, plus an extra attack. I cannot believe, actually, that that killed no one. So, we should be able to do kill them now with this. Nice, double kill. Then we'll shoulder bash this guy away. Um, we can recover sec second win. I might be able to sneak up behind him. Maybe? this might actually work yeah awesome execution fantastic well um we did take a little bit of damage but uh, i'm gonna be i'm just gonna have to live with that weight got some apples there's more stuff over here we might be able to get a free kill nice gonna grab the stuff in here yeah dermawid seems like a really like solid character um i i like their combo stuff but um we're not done yet we're not even like at the monastery yet we're just kind of like looting what we have in our uh proximity we got some extra stuff here oh we got an another bow and a crude bill hook that's a new uh new weapon I haven't done too, like, I haven't tried that one yet. I haven't done any experimenting with that one. All right. So we're about to enter um, some a kind of a scripted event, and it sucks. end our turn that's actually if we can end our turn before the scripted event then that's great because we'll, we'll, we'll we're gonna want to move 
Here it is. Here it comes. So we've got a lot of lads moving in. Run, make make for the chapel at once. But we've we've also got lads here. So we gotta kill these lads. There's no way to, to avoid killing them. Um, excuse me. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of lads here too. So what I want to do is actually move... Oh, we, you know what? Maybe we can get some free kills before we do anything. Maybe. That, that, the, the boomer scares me. But can we, can we get this free kill without anyone noticing? Yes. Now, um, there's a good chance we're going to be seen. So I'd like to move back a little bit. Hopefully nothing bad happens here. Now we are being chased, if you'll recall. Oh, if that guy moves off the... Yes, we could actually, like, get to the monastery. I never got in there because I... I that's when I stopped playing for the night. I'll undo the locks. I want you to move here. Chapel key required. Oh, God. Okay, maybe we can get some... Maybe we can kill some of these lads. Oh, no! Oh, nice try. Damn it. <laughs> oh my god, Dermowit is screwed. Oh, never mind. He's not as screwed as I thought he was going to be. Um... I don't think I've ever tried to shoulder bash a blister. I don't know what happens. Because it told me that contact damage uh, makes them explode. Okay, so you can actually get away with that. We're still stuck because of this guy here. I might be... He's only got one health left. So let's just kill him. This guy's got nine or eight health left, so we can't really help him. Oh, we have no movement points. Um. Okay, I really need to get Dermawid out of there. We're going to hook him out. Um, he's already used his attacks. I'm not sure. Oh, I guess he, we tried to, we, we did a stealth kill. So what I'm going to do is recover our, our, uh, you know, attack. Um, it would be nice if we could get all three of them in there, but we can't, can't have everything. So we're just going to do an axe swing on two of these guys. It's not going to kill them, unfortunately. But it will get pretty close. The one I'm really worried about is actually... Um... Oh, he's still got an attack. Is um, Edwin? We could have killed that guy. That would have been really nice. And he's going to attack him. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have done that attack. So, let me see here. Heal 2 HP, bleeding duration decreases. We only get one of those. And it's better to use it, I think, when someone's dying than, um, you know, just... I don't know, maybe I'm wrong about that. Yeah, let's just use it on ourselves now. Because if they can withstand an attack, that means we don't have to go over and help them. Like, save them. Oh, this is gonna suck. Okay, that was... It's just a graze, that's good. Evade, that's even better. Oh God, Edwin, 
death resisted. Okay, we don't have any bandages, so he just dies as, as I understand it. Cannot use tools. Yeah, we don't have any bandages, so I'm not sure. Do we have to like end the combat? <laughs> I, I think we just lose now. Gather everyone by the door and wait until open. Oh, is that all we had to do? I thought we, okay, shoot. All right, listen, we're gonna, yeah, he dies. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and load from the, <laughs> the auto safe. I could have just, I, I, like they said, you need the chapel key. So I was like, okay, I gotta go find it. But no, uh, apparently I just have to stand. That, that's poor communication as far as I'm concerned. But, um, you know, it's it's an early demo. So maybe we'll get lucky and we can stealth by him. I could have, I could have literally just like won. I'm still gonna try, like, try and stealth kill this guy. I'll have um, Edwin on standby just in case this goes poorly. Okay, it did not go poorly. Okay, so we'll just back up, do as we did last time. Pretty sure this is going to go the same way. Nice. Oh, this guy can see. Okay, let's... We're going to have to do the same thing. Try and do a, a stealth kill. I, I don't know if I can get through this without doing combat. I really don't. Okay, ambush chop. Come on. Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So now everyone get on here. That they, If they just said nothing, I probably would have moved everyone on, on the... Gather everyone by the door and wait until open. One turn. So we may initiate a combat here. Yeah, we did. Still, I think it's going to be better than it was last time. Did we open the door? Nice. Come in quickly, quickly now. Oh, we actually get a freebie. That's kind of nice. You came. I was beginning to fear this place would be my tomb. You took a risk bring ringing that bell. It was no easy feat getting to you. It was that or starve, young man. Allow me to introduce... Oh, never mind. This is a new... I wonder if this is a new playable character. Perhaps the introduction should wait. It appears the infested have found us. Brace yourselves. We'll have to fight our way out. Um, so yeah, new playable character. What do they got? Nothing. So we're going to have to supply them. Oh, they don't have... They don't... Oh, they're an artificer. Okay, maybe that um, they can do something for us later. Um, okay, this is... This is going to... This is going to be a bummer. What I'd like to do, the fact that so this guy is not seeing us right now, even though they are have come in, it's just no because what I could have had um, William shoot him and then Edwin also attack him with the spear, because that's how his passive works, right? But because he hasn't seen anyone yet, technically, um, that means he gets to move up for free and then stop my mobility and the last thing i want to do is attack and kill the blister while it's right in front of me um but i guess if if they haven't seen us that means we can use that to our advantage as well because we can do our our little stealth kill nice and it's good that we have Edwin as a backup because in, just in case Dermawid doesn't get the kill, um, you know, 
we 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 guarantee the kill with the second attacker we can't really do anything with william it would is it if we could include him we would i don't know what alderus can do for us but i'm gonna do my best to try and and uh, make a lot of stealth kills happen so they're looking diagonal west or east i mean can we get all the way around we can um i think i'd prefer to try and get some stealth kills before that what it, that guy can see everything okay that just sucks um okay let's try to kill this blister dude oh there's another one there i didn't even realize this blister is being really annoying <laughs> um the fact that there's a dude here guarantees we can't do much Yeah, they just have like the the perfect sight advantage here. I don't think that there's anything we can do right now. I'm just gonna let the let the chips play. Now, I tried. I really tried to uh, prevent literally this from happening. This actually might not be terrible because we've got a nice choke point here. Oh God, he gets to move through. Ah. The fact that they get to move through each other is a real problem. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, okay, yeah. No, that's cool. Cool. Yeah, that that's like, we're, I don't know if there's anything we can do now. We can hook um, Dermoid. Let's do that. Let's start with that. I'm gonna shove this guy forward. Oh, I didn't mean to, I, well, that's fine. I, uh, I wanted to do our axe swing and we actually are gonna kill someone, so that's good. Our dude here is, is um, caught. If I move through any of this business, then we're caught. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to help William. If we go here, it says we're caught. I'm not sure how that works. Like if I right click this. Yeah. Okay. So it really shouldn't let me do that. I mean, I guess it, you know, there's no reason it can't let me do that, but I didn't understand. I, it's hard to tell sometimes that to, you can't make a movement. Um, or you're at least you're not going to finish one Okay, we should be able to get some kills here I can recover do a second wind here Ambush chop this guy I don't understand some of the indicators some uh, like I I've I've done the tutorial I promise you but sometimes it doesn't make sense to me. Like, what is this X at the top? Why why is it showing me an X and not like I would I would assume that means maybe a kill, but it doesn't mean that necessarily. Now I'd like to Um God, this sucks so much. I really don't think we actually have much chance here. We, we don't have an attack. We all, all we have is a shoulder bash. Um, which we can use. So that's good. So if I do this, then I can shoulder bash this guy forward. We actually got a crit on the shoulder bash, which is nice. I was hoping to get an ally over here. Oh, actually I can. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, Edwin has rope pull. So we can pull him over there. 
Is he still caught? Maybe we can do it again. Just um, just so we don't, you know, we get out of that like nasty business over there. And um, actually, let's uh, swift save Edwin back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a shot on the blister. I don't understand why they get to do that again. Like, I, is it just because I moved out of their sight? So I have three movement. What we're going to do is we're going to swap to our sword and board with William. And uh, I was really hoping I could I had enough. I guess it's we weapon points to put up our shield. But either way, um, I believe with the shield revenge, with the shield, we, we get the passive revenge attack. Um, hopefully the blister can't reach us, but I don't hold out too much hope. Block, good. Bash. I don't know why I didn't realize that the blister could just do that. Still, I'm actually feeling pretty good about this right now. Oh God. TP exhaust, thank God. But he's gonna make it, right? Yep. And and be able to attack. What? Okay, that sucks. We've we're out of bandages, so we don't get another freebie. Um I'm really trying to figure out how to get the, the kill on the blister without him popping off. Fortunately, we can move. We can't. Oh, there's another bandage there. Amazing. That's actually really, really good. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to shoulder bash the blister away. Are we? What I'd really like to do is get Edwin to... No, never mind. I don't know why I thought... I was, I've been thinking that's a good idea. It's not a good idea. Did I not bring the dagger? I thought I brought the... Oh, I guess I used it already. Oops. I guess what we could do is... This axe swing is only going to do 2 to 5 damage. So it won't kill the blister. It killed the blister. I, I don't understand. I guess it critted. Uh, this is why criticals are not always a good thing. <laughs> I, I just wanted to. Oh, God. I just wanted to. Uh, damn it, like weaken the blister so that we could kill it with an arrow. So you, you saw like it does like four damage. It does a ridiculous amount of damage. Maybe too much in in my opinion. The blisters suck a lot. We might be able to get a crit shot here, but I don't think it's gonna be a good good thing. Could we like shield bash this guy away? That's going to kill him. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. Okay, well, we can, um, we can res him. This is, this is, this is bad. This is bad on so many levels. We can do a second win. And, um, I'm really worried about Edwin right now. Do we have any hooks left? No, we don't. So Edwin is just like caught twice. He's going to move around as I understand it. He's just going to attack him. If we can kill that Gnar. Um, Gnar. Uh, this is going to do three to eight damage. There's a chance this could kill him. I don't know why it didn't execute him. Like he's only got two health. Oh, it's because the execution is uh, off cooldown. Lots of things to keep track of in this game. 
All right, this is what I'd like to do. He's only got two health left. Can we do two damage with a shoulder bash, please? Nice. And then we're going to switch to the bow and arrow on William. Blind for two turns. That, that's an option. What I was thinking is we, if we could kill this guy, I don't know honestly what, what we're hoping for here. Yeah, like it didn't kill him. It was fun, but it didn't kill him. I think we're screwed. I don't think that there's anything we can do here. Wait a minute. No. Yeah. We, we can we can maybe kill this guy. I mean, we can kill him, but I, I, like it's not gonna Oh, this guy's not catching Edwin. So yeah, killing him would be ideal And then we're gonna like back the heck the, the, the heck up Oh, he's gonna go for Aldris. Okay, we can't let that happen. Aldris doesn't have any weapons. So now he's gonna go for William. This is good. Um, we'll switch William back to sword and board. Okay, end the turn. Okay, um, some scary moments. But, um, you know, we did it. Let's just kill him with a good old two, one two combo. No, never mind, just the one combo. Flee the monastery. All right, let's flee the monastery. I kind of wish there was a BattleTech esque um, quality of life feature where you can move uh, units while other units are already moving. One, of, one thing I like about Battletech is, um, well, I mean, I like a lot of things about Battletech, but being able to move units at the same time when you're out of combat is just really nice. I know it's a difficult thing to achieve. Okay, and turn. I'm worried there's going to be more stuff over here. Nope, we're actually good. We got really lucky with um, finding that second bandage. I think that's the only reason we we lived. So, I mean, the game is tough. It's really tough. And you definitely have to manage your resources wisely. And you have to manage your units wisely. And you have to try and, like, get every single passive that you have to, to pop off as much as possible. Avoid combat where you can. Um, and, uh, you know, like, sometimes it comes down to luck, honestly. But, you know, for some people, that's gonna, that's gonna really do it. Wow, they didn't even like, you know, thanks for playing the demo. Um, I am excited for this game. I, I would definitely love to play more of this. Um, yeah, Ramor, Infested Kingdom. What did you think of it? If you played it, let me know in the comments. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.